the layoff was welcoming anybody and everybody into the cage. Lots of notable success at OCAM tournaments in 2018. Made it all the way to the finals, but came up short that evening. John, I doubt he plans on that history repeating here tonight. No, you said stayed busy early. Uh, three fights in 2017, four in 2018, and then kind of slowed down a little bit. Hey, little thing called the pandemic happened. Made, <laughs> made it a little tough to get in some fights. Uh, but now making the move to the professional ranks. And again, another fighter similar to our first fight that, you know, did have some setbacks as an amateur, but that's what it's about. You know, you always show up. Keep your head up. Don't worry about the losses as an amateur. That's where you're getting the experience. Just make sure you take the lessons from it as well. Now, if you lose and you just go, ah, oh, well, you know, that guy got lucky or the referee did me wrong. Okay, then you're not really doing what you need to be doing. No, you need to analyze, see what mistakes were made, and make sure you address them, correct them, so that when you come to the professional ranks, you're going to be well aware of anything that you might face. All academic setbacks or setups, as some would say. And I want to mention this, the dedication that Mendez has to the, 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 the sport. He would ride 32 kilometers on his bike to train every single day. Now, you're going to assume that I know how far 32 kilometers is. I should have Googled it. <laughs> <laughs> Can we convert that to miles next uh, time? I think it's like 1.6 miles. Is it? I mean, is that like What's three there? countries away <laughs> is how far he went. <laughs> Javier looks to lean on the recent successes of his country, men and women, as motivation, willing to walk in their footsteps and find the same combat sport success as one Brandon Moreno, Alexa Grasso, and Yair El Pantara Rodriguez. Hernandez certainly going to have to leverage all of the tools of his idols to find a victory here tonight, George. Yeah, I mean, all right, you can call me George, it's fine. Uh, what a time, yeah, what a time to be a Mexican mixed martial artist, right? I mean, if you're looking for inspiration, you always say, you know, when you see somebody that looks like you, that talks like you, that lives where you do, achieving success at the highest level, that, that's just motivation, inspiration, though, hey, I can do the same thing. I, you know, I can put in the work and I can do exactly what they did. Uh, so it's a great time for, for Mexico. Obviously, the UFC is about to open a performance institute in Mexico City, that's gonna be amazing. Uh, should be noted, too. I think it's worth mentioning. We'll see if it has any impact on the fight whatsoever. But he had some trouble getting here. There were some, some travel delays, some flight cancellations, uh, kind of stuff that was all out of our hands as an organization. Obviously, uh, we all know what travel delays are like <laughs> these days. Uh, so kind of late getting into town. We'll see if that causes any impact whatsoever in terms of him adjusting to the altitude here or, you know, just getting full rest and being here. Um, hopefully it doesn't have any impact, but I think it is worth noting leading in. Worth noting, and one of the other things that we did hear from him was the weight cut was, because of that, a little bit more difficult right. than usual. You can see that tail of made four years separate these gentlemen with Alejandro Mendez, 26, Javier Hernandez, 22. Esquina Azul, 26 años de edad. Para este combate tendremos como referí al señor Andrés González. Each guy has one TKO win, came in both of their amateur careers. Javier Hernandez, established pro with three fights under his belt. Alejandro Mendez makes that debut tonight. Touch of gloves. Colombia versus Mexico. Big leg kick right there by Hernandez. See Mendez tries to go high and give one back, but just unable to. Yeah, there's another one. Same spot. Two sting leg kicks to start. And see if know, Hernandez sticks with that strategy. No shin guards to offer some, some additional comfort inside the octagon here. That's right. We saw a little bit of that earlier tonight in our amateurs, our preliminary card. That's, uh, that's shin to the thigh right now. Oh, Mendez gets one back with that leg kick of his own. Standing really upright. I mean, that posture is up and down for the Colombian. Yeah, kind of a traditional tie stance there, you know? A little more square at times, upright. Bringing that knee up to the chest and fainting with it. Beautiful shot. Slips Mendez, there. a bit of a stumble. Back to his feet. Those leg kicks are really going to start adding up unless Mendez can start checking or evading them. Yeah, such a dangerous weapon to stick with. Hernandez does a good job of 
pulling his leg free there. Almost had to pay the price there. Mendez caught that kick briefly. Now Mendez with a combination up top. Hernandez tried to load up. Mendez wise to it, got out of the way. Lots of kicks from both gentlemen because we're on the pro rule set. Three minutes and 40 seconds remain in round number one. And those four ounce gloves again, if any punch lands, could be lights out. Catches a kick there. Can't quite capitalize on it. Hernandez entering with a lot of looping punches. Not a lot of straight shots so far from the Mexican. Yeah, and Mendez kind of trying to turn up the aggression a little bit now. Wisely so. And again, why not why not test the energy level of your opponent? You know, you know he got in late. You know he struggled with his weight cut. Why not put the pace on him? See if you can capitalize on that. Hernandez tries to go low just a bit out of range. Lots of kicks upstairs by one Alejandro Mendez. Hernandez just a bit of a spin. Big jab to next. Got to think as the taller guy, establishing that jab would probably be in his best interest. Yeah, 100%. I'm watching the hands as well. <laughs> Mendez starting to drop just a little <laughs> bit there. Uh, ooh. A spin and kick there. One little striking battle between these two right now. That could have been bad news for Javier Hernandez. It's that on the chin, seems to be unaffected. Once again, those leg kicks, it's just a constant thorn in the side of Alejandro Mendez. Oh! oh Tashed him up there. Mendes. Nice little combination. Briefly dropped him. We'll see how hurt Javier Hernandez is. Yeah, it looked like maybe a little bit of a stumble there, more than just a, a clean knockdown, but certainly touched him with a couple of those strikes. And finds himself in a bad position with uh, now works to his feet. Two the, minutes uh, remain. Oh. Mendez separates, clips him on the exit. Yeah, nice two-punch combination there as he left. Hernandez tried to once again toss that leg kick out there just out of range. It seems like if that's that's a habit, right, that's his bread and butter, would be something that Mendez could capitalize on. Reaching with the left hand right there is Alejandro Mendez. Mendez, once again, four years the elder, a little bit more developed in terms of the physique and the strength. I think that that's being presented here in the first round. Mendez with nice head movement there as he moves out of range there. Oh. Oh, Hernandez able to get inside, wrap the body. Left arm is trapped inside. Can he get this thing to the ground? One minute remains in this first round. Couple knees upstairs. All legal blows. Absolutely. Seems like Mendez Hernandez. getting a word, yeah. <laughs> Couple fence grabs there for Hernandez. Certainly getting a warning. He's grabbing onto it again. He's going to stop it. They're going to take a point here in the moment. Gripping that cage like a lizard. Just not letting go. You see, now he's keeping a close fist. Better work there as he's trying to defend these knees. Mendez controlling from the outside. Just striking where he can. You know, you're controlling the round, having a lot more success, 30 seconds to go. You've got two more rounds. No need to really push, I would say, in this position. Just chip away at that leg with the knees as he's doing. A nice, snuck the knee up top there. Yeah, Hernandez doing a good job of not presenting a lot of targets. You know, it's kind of staying compact, but you see another knee sneaks oh. in there as well. Javier Hernandez does not like that. Final 10 seconds. Alejandro Mendez impressing greatly through five, John. Yeah, great work there for Mendez. And again, I think it's only going to get more and more challenging for Hernandez. We talked about the travel issues he had, the weight cut issues he had because of that. Uh, and we'll see if he can hold the energy level up as we take a look back at some of the action that happened in round number one. Each guy trading leg kicks. Hernandez more active with it. But Mendez getting his own. There's that moment of turning your back, trying to circle out. Not something one would advise, John. No, not something you want to show it off. But he did have nice head movement in there. The way he kind of rolls with punches and slips out of the way. Nice work. Uh, we'll see, though, where the energy level is at in round number two. Couple, took a couple of big knees there as we take a look at the corner of uh, Mendez there. You know, one offensive tool I liked that Alejandro Mendez was adopting as the round progressed was that double jab. Instead of just popping it out once, he boom, boom, and then throw the right hand. Seemed like that was what led to that brief knockdown stumble nearing the, uh, the twilight of round number one. Yeah, when he strings the punches together, and he's hands there taking some deep breaths. When he strings the punches together, he's having some success. He is the taller fighter. Appears to be the fresher fighter as well. So we'll see how things play out here in round number two. 
Alejandro Mendez, Javier Hernandez find the second set of five minutes. Seems like Mendez, early aggressor, early success. But Hernandez, Mexican born and bred, we know those guys don't quit. Already established himself in the center is Alejandro Mendez. Oh. Big, quick <laughs> combo right there, John. Yeah, it was. Just missed on the big right hand. Hernandez answered with kicks. Nice steam one to the inside leg there. Another one comes after it. Really pushing against the cage now. Seems like the uh, the momentum of Alejandro Mendez is just picking up. He's feeling more confident there. Absolutely. Pushing forward. I think he understands now's the time to turn up the heat. Really buoyed by the confidence he would have had there late in round number one. Hands locked behind the back for Mendez. Sting of that knee upstairs. Quite uh, flexible with the hips, John. Yeah, it was able to really drive that knee in a few times. Even though there wasn't a big target available, he still got it up top. Landed with a couple significant blows. And you can see right now, Hernandez defending his case, trying to stay upright. Credit where credit's due. Good defense so far. I mean, Hernandez really not given uh, uh, Mendez any opportunities to ground him. Absolutely. Overhook there on that left side now. The adjustment, wide sprawl against the fence for Hernandez. On that single. Hands claps though as he turns to the single. Let's that go. Mendez doing a good job of kind of chaining things together. And not just sticking with one look, but trying to force an adjustment, see if I can catch my opponent off guard by switching to a different technique. You think maybe the Brian Yara tactic from earlier of separating, throwing off a couple combos, and then shooting back in at a takedown might be helpful in grounding Hernandez. Absolutely. I mean, it, it just give it different looks. But, I mean, look, at the same time in round number one, he controlled in there and, again, sneaks that knee up once again. That's been his best weapon in the clinch. Javier Hernandez just shook his head, unsure what that was about. Now hands are clapped under the butt. Blood dripping down there from Javier Hernandez. I think one of those knees busted up the nose. Saw it drip down the back. Oh! That one rocked him. That elbow hurt. Mendez with his wits not about them. Here comes Alejandro Mendez. Javier Hernandez wisely clinching up there. Yeah, he was stung there for a second. That elbow was sneaky right on the break. Nice work. The knee had been the best weapon, but he landed a couple of really sharp elbows in there as well. I think it's smart. Go back to the clinch. You're having some success here in controlling the action and again doing some damage in there as well you see some of the blood dripping down again that elbow really caused some pause beautiful little Javier duck Hernandez. under there look at that ducked under the right arm slipped around to the back Hernandez has got to be very careful right now now there's a better visual of the significant damage that Javier Hernandez is wearing two minutes and 16 oh. and two. that might be it Mendez it's a big knee here comes Alejandro Mendez those landed clean. Big damage done on those. And a significant response as well. Javier Hernandez clearly did not like that. Another warning here, Definitely. I think. Oh, it's waving it wow. off. Wow! That is it. All he needed to see. Alejandro Mendez successful in the professional debut. Cooked it up with some vicious knees. Interesting stoppage. John Morgan, your thoughts? Interesting stoppage. I mean, that's uh, the, the timing of it. Well, I, I'm not surprised necessarily. There were a couple of really sharp blows there. Knees were landing clean as we're watching some of the replays there. A couple of knees landed clean, a couple of elbows landed clean. You did see that Hernandez was stunned briefly on a couple of occasions. But at that exact moment, I didn't necessarily feel like a finish uh, was absolutely necessary. I'm not protesting it as the worst of all times. It was just kind of the weird timing, timing was a on bit it. off, right? Yeah. Almost a delayed, right? After this knee right here, I believe, where there's that clear just reaction from Javier Hernandez, that might have been more the time instead of, you know, 10 seconds later. Yeah, and again, I mean, I, I can see you're saying, I mean, he fires an elbow back there. He took a couple, of, you know, really big knees to the temple there, and I can understand the referee saying, okay, look, I'm not seeing enough of a defensive response from you right. in this position. Uh, it is still very early in their career, so you know maybe fighter safety is a little bit more paramount. I, but I, I don't know. I, I, I'll be honest. I don't love the stoppage. I, I, I'm not completely against it because he was taking some real shots, and I felt that the stoppage was kind of imminent. Uh, but that timing just felt a little odd to me. Either way, we cut that kick. Alejandro Mendez finds the second TKO in his competitive career, first as a pro and now undefeated as a professional mixed martial artist. That's got to feel good for the Bogota born and bred. Alejandro Mendez. And credit to Javier Hernandez. I mean, dealing with all of the transportation issues and the, the 
adversity that he faced even yep. getting to the fight. Got to give him a lot of the respect that he's deserved. Well, and that's why I really wanted to outline it off the top because it really was difficult what he had to go through. So to still come in here and, and, and be willing to compete and want to make it work, even though it was a big challenge, uh, he deserves a lot of credit for that. Alejandro Mendes! There it is, it's official. Second El round referee. stoppage for Andre one Gonzalez Alejandro Mendes. Ha determinado que Alejandro Mendes es el ganador. Really patient performance as well. I mean, he saw the spots where he needed to go and he went when he did. Can't fault him for it. No, and I like the fact that he remained patient in the clinch, right? Like, that wasn't necessarily getting the takedowns, wasn't necessarily getting anything spectacular, but we said he was kind of grinding in there and landing those knees, those elbows, and uh, ultimately earned him the stoppage victory.